all of the constants that exist on the internet, the most reoccurring ones are Logan Paul getting caught up in some multi-million dollar scam, Tristan Thompson embarrassing himself, Chloe, and the entire city of Brampton on an almost monthly basis, and weebs getting caught up in some stupid, insignificant issue. Now, I'm a little late to this issue, it happened a little while back, but I thought it was worth talking about, give my expert opinion on the entire situation, but recently on an episode of Demon Slayer, Nezuko was engaged in battle with Yokai Onoho. During that battle, she aged up, her mommy milkers came out. Oh my god, the reaction that Twitter had. It's so fucking weird how people on Twitter in the anime community will see something and magnify it to a point where it becomes an actual issue. And the community was never like this before, so I'm really confused as to why it's such a big thing now. Nezuko being looted is a problem for many people because she's 14 years old or some shit. And pretty much all of the characters in Demon Slayer are teenagers, they're young teens. And seeing those teens put in any sort of sexual, etchy situation is problematic for some people. Even during the manga's run, a lot of people thought that this particular arc would be a little difficult to animate because they felt that the characters were being sexualized, they were making light on gender identity, and just the overall increase with Echi at that point of Demon Slayer. But what really shocks me is the amount of discourse that was put online about this. I remember spending like thousands of dollars on shitloads of cosplayers only fans and Mitsuri Kanroji was the hottest thought outfit for 2020 and 2021. So let's not pretend that people who love and have been watching Demon Slayer weren't aware of all of the ecchi that already exists in this series. Some of these tweets are fucking bonkers. Tanij Rowe says, I'm genuinely terrified for what dude bros and overall creeps are going to do when Red Light District Nezuko gets animated. She was way too sexualized in my opinion, and I'm terrified. Now this one is an older tweet, it's about a year and a half old, but the sentiment was already there on Twitter, and the comments that were coming up were really fucking weird. Prideful Sin had this to say, Stop sexualizing Nezuko, stop sexualizing Nezuko, and so on and so forth. Top Bow Hunter says, I understand she can adjust her size, but sexualizing a portrayed child slash minor for fan service is something I don't understand why Japan does. This is not just in Demon Slayer, by the way. Shinobu's Love also says, Some people will see a child with a mature body and suddenly... It's okay to sexualize them. Nezuko is 14. And all of that just raises the question, you guys know you're watching anime, right? Anime that's made for, geared towards, marketed to, and mostly consumed by kids. I don't know why anime fans nowadays are on some weird, woke, moral high ground about what anime is. The real conversation isn't about one character being looted in a series where there is a bunch of characters being looted and they're all in the teenage age group. The real elephant in the room is that we have too much anime nowadays. Anime is made mostly for young boys. They're made for people who are teenagers and the animes are structured in a way where those kids grow with those characters. They start spending their initial allowances on merch. They look up all of the anime memes, they go to anime conventions, they're on YouTube checking out the most recent anime trailers. It's the shit that they be looking up online. And the biggest thing for people to remember is that teenage boys like big mommy milkers. That's just what they're into. If a shonen has a fast pace, lots of action, and fan service, that's what they're going to be interested in. So that's why there's so much sexualization of these teenage characters. They're aimed towards teenage boys. I know it's a little quirky and it's a little weird, but for most people watching this anime, this is normal to them and this is what they want to see. Older heads like us, we're projecting the things that we're
we're projecting the things that we're uncomfortable with, not realizing that this is a product. It's a product that is mimicked in so many other fields. And if we're really bothered by this, then we need to have real discussions about why so many anime nowadays come out with such shameful ecchi. I don't think Demon Slayer is a problem at all. It's actually somewhat tasteful if you want to look at it from that perspective. I'm not going to argue for you, whatever. I have a problem with these characters being teenagers too, but I also understand that this isn't a show for me, so I'm not going to get pressed about things that aren't targeted towards me. However, I do understand the frustrations. 20 years ago, you could watch Gundam Seed, Inuyasha, Ghost in a Shell, and Trigun all back to back on YTV or Toonami, and even though there was fan service, it was tasteful, it wasn't a huge part of the show, and you still had other aspects of the show that made you want to watch. There was no discussion about the fan service that did exist back in the day. But nowadays we have so much fan service, so much etchy. A lot of these shows aren't good. It seems like every studio just needs a couple etchy shows a year so they can keep the lights on. I think the bigger problem is why so many people are consuming these etchy shows. They clearly have no problem with it, but why do anime fans only want to go towards etchy series now? Why is fan service such a big thing? Are older anime fans now feeling the separation from the current glut of anime and the current popularity of anime? Because this fan service stuff will not end. Nezuko is one of the hottest characters in a very long time, and she's going to continue to be a popular character for quite some time. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of mangaka start copying the styles of Demon Slayer, bringing back the classic lolly, skipping the moe, and adding ecchi to the formula to basically get a whole bunch of clone Nezukos throughout the rest of this decade. Anyway, it's just a topic I wanted to talk about quickly. I hate when anime fans get so frustrated and they run to Twitter to bitch and moan instead of actually digesting what the actual issue is and realizing that anime is a product and this is a kid's anime and you're right to express yourself but understand that we're in a certain area right now with consumption of anime where ecchi works. You're going to find a lot of teenagers that are essentially sexualized and as uncomfortable as it may be, it is for me too, believe me, I just don't read those series. There are a lot of great anime out there that aren't peppered with ecchi. I think you should give it a shot instead of wasting your time complaining about something that was never made for you to begin with.